Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can become far more consistent with your fairway woods, both off the ground and off the tee. You do not wanna miss this video. So let's start this video off by actually getting rid of one of the most common misunderstandings that I see when it comes to this club. So to do this, what I have got is I have got the TrackMan just out of camera there. Now, TrackMan is a radar system that gives us a whole load of data at impact. Let me hit the goal shot, then let me show you some data that's then gonna help us understand how to hit these clubs more consistently. So let's take a look at this data and let's run through the key concept I see so many people get wrong. So the two key numbers I want you to look at are angle of attack and low point. Now what we can see here is angle of attack is minus 1.5 degrees and the low point says 1.5 A. So low points measured in inches and it is the lowest point of our swing. A means after the golf ball. So what this is showing us is that we are hitting down on the golf ball with a three wood, a five wood, a seven wood, whatever wood that it is you're using. Now the other numbers there I'll just leave there so you can sort of see what a standard three wood looks for me. But overall, the key thing that we have to understand is everything that we do today has to be based around hitting slightly down on the golf ball. If we can understand that, we're gonna get some really good results. So let's now talk about the second thing, is strike location. So this three wood is 15 degrees, I had to check for you. Now it is only 15 degrees right in the middle of the face. Now there is technology in this called bulge and roll. So bulge and rolls basically means it sort of it curves from top all the way down to bottom, sort of that way. Now that therefore means that if we go lower down in the face, it's gonna be more like 13 degrees aloft. And if we go higher in the face, it's gonna be more like 17 degrees aloft. Now obviously adjust that for your five wood, your seven wood. But what that essentially means is, again, if we're trying to hit up on the golf ball, we're also gonna be hitting it lower in the face, which means it's gonna come out super, super low. So often if you're struggling to launch the ball high enough with your fairway woods, you gotta check your strike location as well. So here's why again, if we're hitting slightly down on the ball, it's gonna help us raise our strike location up and actually help us get that high launch. And I think I launched this around 12, 13 degrees, which is again, a good launch angle for a three wood. So let's start now, now that we understand the concept with this setup, what are we looking to see with the setup? Well, first and foremost, this is a long club, so we need to support it with our stance width. So I like to see golfers go about edges of the shoulders, lining up roughly with the insides of your ankles. So pretty much right down on the insides right there. This is gonna give us a nice wide base. Now, the next big key is just how we position our, our, our pelvis and our spine tilt. So I like to see golfers set up with a tiny bit more weight on the lead leg, maybe 55% of their weight on their lead leg. And then from there, that's gonna bring the pelvis slightly closer towards the lead foot. And then because our trail hand is lower on the grip than our lead hand, that provides us a little bit of spine angle. Now, straight away, a lot of you are gonna go, well, hold on a second, aren't I supposed to be, you know, having our weight more even? This is kind of like a driver. No, remember, driver, we're trying to hit up on the golf ball, hence why we go more 50-50. But we've just discussed three wood, we actually wanna favor a little bit more weight on that lead leg. Why? To help us hit down on the ball more. Kind of like a long iron. If you treat this like a long iron, you're gonna see some really good results. Now the big one is ball position and shaft lean. What are we looking to see? Well, we've done our body position. So ball position, I like to go, you can sort of see the logo on my top here. I like to go roughly around there. So if I was to draw a line straight down from the logo of my top, once I'm in my good body angles, you can see that that puts me about a club head width inside my lead heel. And that's a really good sort of rough guy to go. If I go about a club head width inside my lead heel, this is going to allow me to then naturally be able to hit slightly down on the golf ball. Why? The lowest point of our swing tends to be underneath the left shoulder joint. If we have the ball slightly back, so it's more under the logo of our top or one club head inside the lead heel, that is then going to help us just get that slight descending blow. Shaft lean, what are we looking to see? Hands back, hands forwards, hands neutral. Well. I like to see golfers, again, we still have to have a little bit of shaft lean as we hit this ball. So I like to see golfers set up relatively neutral with the, the amount of shaft lean that they have. So I tell people, you know, get the lead forearm in the club in one straight line, take your grip from there. And you can see in this position here, maybe a touch bit of shaft lean, but it's gonna be pretty neutral right there. And that is the setup. Like I said, it's very, very simple. Treat it as if it was essentially a long iron. Now, let's run through some simple swing thoughts to help us encourage this slight descending blow. So I have three swing thoughts that I want you to play around with when it comes to three wood. Pick which one works best for you. And I always tell my clients, imagine a swing thought is like a hat. 
You only want one swing thought at a time, especially when you're out on the golf course. If you start having two, three, four swing thoughts, well, imagine wearing two, three, four hats at the same time, you're gonna look a little bit ridiculous. So one swing thought, one hat. So the first swing thought when it comes to hitting a three wood is to do with tempo. Now tempo is the glue that holds our golf swing together. Look at the, the greatest golfers on the planet. All of them seem to have this just silky smooth tempo. Now tempo, do not mistake it for swinging slow. Swinging smooth is not swinging slow. Rory McIlroy swings it smooth, but my God, does he hit it hard. So what I want you to do is get used to just having nice tempo and actually trying to get some speed into your swing, but keep it at a good rhythm. Now, a lot of people, they like to have sort of like a saying in their head where they go maybe one, two, three, or they use sort of certain words. They might say their name, they might say their favorite phrase, but essentially something along the lines of one, two, three will keep you in a really good rhythm. It will help you then hit these shots that we're trying to do, see some really good results. But again, I am trying to hit this club hard. This club has only 15 degrees of loft. I need speed to be able to get this ball up in the air. Now I'm not swinging flat out. I'm swinging maybe 95%, but I'm swinging in good rhythm. So if I do this here for you, so I do a practice swing where I go one, two, three. Now I'm gonna hit this shot here and I'm gonna say that in my head as I hit this. And then we are gonna see what sort of tempo it looks like when we look back on film. So if we take a look at that tempo from the front on view, what do we notice? I'm swinging in pretty good tempo, but I feel like I'm still hitting it pretty hard. So tempo does not mean swing slow. If you swing slow, it's gonna be hard to get this ball in the air. You have a free license to hit this ball hard, but make sure that you swing in tempo. So the second swing thought that I want you to have to help us encourage this great strike is to actually feel like you're gonna take a very small divot after the golf ball. Now, due to the width of sole on this driver, chances are you're not, but that's a great intent to have because again, if you're having to take a little divot just after the ball, then it's going to encourage a slight descending blow that's gonna give you a great strike location and a great launch. Now, let me hit a shot for you with that swing thought and then let me show you a really simple drill to sort of couple in with that. So if I set up here, I'm gonna feel like I take a small little divot as I hit this golf shot. So the drill that I want you to do is just grab a little tee and ideally a broken tee, so we're not wasting brand new tees and simply just place it on the ground. Now, again, a tee is obviously far smaller than the golf ball. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna hone your strike in terms of getting that good descending blow on the ball or in this situation, the tee. So very simply set up to a broken tee as if you're about to hit it. And then from there, make a swing. And I want you to try and make contact with that tee. This is gonna teach you what it feels like to have good ground contact. So here's what it should look like. And as you can see, I've made really good connection with that tee. If there was a golf ball there, that would have resulted in a great strike location and ultimately a really good ball flight. Now, the final swing thought that I want you to experiment is again, super simple. And it's that as you make your swing, you're trying to finish with all your weight or pretty much 90% of your weight on your lead leg. This is gonna encourage you getting through the shot, transferring your weight, and ultimately, again, that's gonna help us achieve this ball and then ground contact. Now, what I see a lot of people struggle with with three wood is again, they try to hit up at it, they try to help it up, they stay on their back foot, and they end up falling backwards like this. Gonna be extremely difficult to get any sort of consistent contact. So again, the aim of these thoughts is to keep them as simple as possible. So let me set up to this ball, let me hit a shot for you, and my swing thought here is gonna to be to try and get all the way through, so majority of my weight is on my lead leg, by the time I finish my golf swing. Let's take a look and let's see what happens right here. Those three simple swing thoughts are thoughts that you can use out on the golf course to help you encourage a good strike. Pick one, give it a go, see which one works best for you. So let's now talk about how to hit a fairway wood off the tee. This might be used on a par three, it might be used on a par four, just depends on sort of the situation. Now the way we go about it, there are different ways, but I like to keep things as simple as possible. And this is what I do in my game and I recommend you do in your game. So when you tee up a three wood, as you can see, I've got a small broken tee here. I want you to tee up on a very, very, very low tee height. So it's barely off the ground in reality. You can see this is only gently off the ground right here. Now here's the thing, if I treat this exactly the same way, I do exactly the same swing, what am I gonna see? Well, with it being slightly off the ground, the strike location is gonna go a tiny bit higher in the face. What we will see here is a little bit of a higher launch, a little bit less spin, and ultimately you'll get five to 10 yards extra carry off of this. 
Now, some golfers, they do like to sort of adjust their setup. So if you are gonna go down that route, you would move the ball slightly further forwards and you'd have your weight a little bit more level, sort of in, in between your feet, 50-50. Uh, but to be honest, I would say just tee the ball down at a nice low height. And then from there, set up exactly the same way as you normally do, and then give it a swing. It's the easiest way to do it out on a golf course. And you'll naturally see you hit it five to 10 yards further than you normally do off the fairway. So let me show you what this looks like right here. So same sort of setup pressure in the same place and let me give this one a whack so that ball fly has gone a tiny bit higher definitely a little bit less spin you're going to see far more distance so five ten yards extra carry who knows how much extra that's going to roll but ultimately it's the easiest and simplest way to hit a fairway wood off the tee if you have enjoyed today's video please give it a like and subscribe and i hope to see you back here soon